Thank you to my patrons, Matt Zions and Greg Condor for making these videos possible. All right, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do player retouching in 2023. So the first thing that you want to do is mask out your player. If you guys don't know how to mask out yet and you're just beginning, I do have videos on my channel that show you how to mask out. So we have Kyrie Irving. Now from here, I want to use everything within Photoshop and nothing, nothing outside of Photoshop, just in case you guys don't have plugins or can't get plugins. I know it's harder to get Topaz Labs on the Mac and things like that. So first thing we're going to do from our mask is we're going to right click and we're going to create a smart object. So we're going to convert to smart object so that we can edit it indestructibly. Just go straight into camera. Going into camera allows me to get a better look at the mask subject and things I want to improve on it. So I go into basic and Per usual, you want to add texture and clarity. You don't want to really go above 35 on either of these. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Clarity is going to actually add a lot of highlights. Uh, so if you have harsh highlights already, like on this white jersey, you don't need to add too much clarity at all. D haze is going to, so haze is kind of where, it, in, in a landscape scenario, you would see more haze in the background. That's why you can't see as far into the distance. So it's that type of thing. Like it's a haze type of fog, not even a fog, but a haze just gives this, you know, whiter effect, this whitened out effect. So if you want to make your mask a little bit more sharp, I would always suggest bringing up your dehaze just to a touch at least. As far as these, if they are a little too bright, I bring my highlights down. He looks pretty balanced in this, to be honest. Shadows, you can leave sort of in the middle. And then my blacks, I'll bring that down a little bit. Exposure, he's fine. He's he's lit fine. Temperature and tint, I'm not really worried about that at all. Detail, add a little bit of sharpening. That can be at the end, though, after we really get everything going. And so, yeah, that's really all I worry about when I first hop into camera raw with a mask. It's just the basics, adding a little bit of clarity, texture, dehaze if he's a little bit hazy, just to adjust him slightly. Play around on these sliders as well if you want to, but texture clarity dehaze are the keys here. Oh yeah, one more thing is color mixer, and you can get your colors really looking nice with color mixer. So I always like to boost my oranges a little bit more and adjust the oranges as well, just to give it, start giving it a better tone. Saturation wise, you can take down purples. That'll help with the jersey. See that jersey has those purples. That'll help that. Blues you do want to keep, maybe even push these a little bit more with saturation wise. But everything else looks pretty even. Yellow, you do want to set desaturate yellow if you can. See how there's always there's always like yellow on jerseys just because of a light reflection and white is pretty close to yellow. So be aware of that and it can give you a better look on your mask right away. And then you can just press control Z and then control shift Z C already looking a lot better okay so step two after camera what would i do i would use select color range and i would select some highlights and i would select some shadows so here's how you do it <laughs> go to select color range and then hit this drop down and you're going to select let's select our shadows first okay and when you see this diagram everything that's in white is going to be what is going to be selected so you want to adjust your range so that you're actually getting a good amount of shadows picked. Fuzziness is kind of how it's it's like feathering. It's like feathering on a layer mask. So less fuzziness is going to be more sharp of the selection. More fuzziness is going to be see how it's hazy and more soft of the selection. So I like to keep it pretty sharp and I can adjust from there um, because we actually are going to turn this into its own layer mask and you'll see in a second. And then range, I'm just making sure I select a good range where I'm getting a lot of those shadows that I can adjust. So here's my selection now. And what I like to do is I like to add this into a brightness and contrast. So if you have your selection, you can just go to this semicircle, hit brightness and contrast. And you can see how you can play with that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to control click. So we're going to put this all in a group so that we don't have to keep clipping it to Kyrie Irving. So we're gonna control click on our mask layer and we're gonna add a group, okay? And now on this group, just stay on the group, hit the layer mask icon 
and we're gonna move these two into the group. So now these are inside the group and whenever I change this slider, I don't have to be clipped. So say if this was a different background, see it's only gonna affect the mask, all right? So do that and then name your group. It's just a good thing to get into a habit in of because when you have bigger projects, it's just a lot of wasted energy. So we're just adjusting with the contrast. Contrast is gonna give us more of a contrasted feel between our shadows and highlights. And then I'm gonna also feather this even a little bit more. And you guys see how it's kind of just giving that depth to our mask and it's making it not flat. And you guys see already, big difference guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go on our highlights of Kyrie. So go back on the Kyrie mask. And we're gonna hit okay. And then I don't like it, so I'm gonna press undo. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna get a little bit more of the highlights. So we're gonna drag this amber white as you're selected. Like so. This is gonna be our highlights. Oh, this was our shadows. So now our highlights, let's see what we got. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. We're gonna feather it once again, cause it's kind of harsh there, see? So we're gonna feather it just like that. And then we're gonna take them off the Jersey. So since this is a layer mask, I can just take them off of the Jersey because the Jersey is super priority. So you don't want to start blaring out your highlights. It just doesn't look professional. Um, so you want to keep highlights if it's a white jersey usually on the skin you can get away with it when it's a different color jersey But in this case not ideal guys All right, so now really looking good You can always adjust your highlights as you please It is definitely okay You know pick some areas where maybe Photoshop didn't pick it up from select color range. Remember when you're painting on a layer mask, so if I'm on a layer mask and I paint white, it's gonna reveal the mask. If I paint black, it's gonna hide the mask, okay? So, up to you. This is where you get a little bit of style into your work. How bright do you like your highlights? How dark do you like your shadows type of deal? The next thing that I would do is I'm going to add a selective color range. So selective color, it's going to be in the group again. And I'm just going to adjust the skin tone just so we get a nice crisp thin tone. See that before and after. See how it's kind of dull. And then we're adding life to the max with selective color. Selective color is really good and really easy to use. Another thing that I like to do always is on the shadow layer, take away any shadows that might have gone to the eyes. And I also like to brighten the eyes, so I just add a brightness and contrast layer. I'm gonna brighten this up, invert the mask, control I to invert. And then I paint white on the outside of the eyes. You can always adjust your flow to white to hide, white to reveal, black to hide, black to hide, white reveals, okay? Just like that. All right, and then, so now we're gonna keep moving forward. I'm going to add a black and white layer, like so. This layer, we're gonna invert it. And what I want to do here is I want to just make sure this jersey is actually white. It gives it a better look. So if you see, see how, let's just take our color picker, shortcut I. See how there's just a lot of different colors on the jersey. Now, at first it's like, okay, whatever. But you know, when you're really trying to get into poster design and doing things professionally, you want to have like one tone. It just gives it a cleaner look for the eye. No matter how subconscious it is, it does give a better look. So we're gonna use this black and white layer that we have already inverted, but you can try and go on the mask and then we can press W to go on our wand tool. And then this is the tolerance right here for your wand tool, okay? So your tolerance is gonna allow you to select more of the range, but you don't wanna run into 
too high of a tolerance where when you select, you might start selecting like the grays, right? So we want to stay on the lighter tones. So I'm going to bring my tolerance down. We can start at, I guess, like 30 and see how that works. So we're tolerant at tolerance of 30. Make sure that your wand is on combined shapes so that we can keep adding to the selection. Boom. And we're just going to keep clicking. If you were to click an area by accident, so see, I clicked that by accident. You could just press control Z or you could click it and then you could press uh, alt. And I believe on the Mac, alt might be command. Maybe I think you guys can, I'll just drop it. All right. But then you can hit undo. So undo that selection on that part while you're holding down alt. So then I'm going to go along and select all the white parts of the Jersey. Well, you know, not technically white yet, but basically. So after I've done that, now I'll go on my black and white mask and I just have to hit alt delete. Okay. So see that alt delete and then you can press control D to deselect and then adjust just those little parts with whatever you'd like to use. Maybe your paintbrush, maybe your pen tool to just sharpen up some of those areas. Now that we have the selection of the Jersey on the white parts, what I like to do is I like to hold is I like to make a curves layer. So I add a curves layer and then I hold down alt or option. If you are on the Mac to drag that, you can actually just drag the mask to a new selective subject to a new layer mask. So this is going to copy the layer mask. So you just hold down alt or option and drag it up to the curves. Now I can adjust my curves just slightly and get a little bit more variety. See that? See how that just gives it little bit more pop that's all we want to do feather it out some and we can bring that on a little past all right so look at how we are doing guys not too bad now one of the last things I do is I'm gonna add a layer then I'm gonna press shift at five and I'm gonna put this on a 50% gray layer now with this layer we're going to set it to overlay okay and this is called dodging and burn so this is your dodge tool it's going to make it brighter it's going to make anything brighter burn is going to make anything darker so what you're going to go ahead and do with these two tools we can set them to mid-tones you can play around with these ranges but mid-tones is a pretty safe tone and then protect tones is pretty good as well and you're going to make sure your brush is uh, soft. Okay. So you're going to be on a soft brush. And once you are on a soft brush, you're going to brush in. This is dodge. So you're going to brush in your shadows more intensely. So definitely take your time with this. This is a big part of the masking process and the retouching process. The dodge and burn comes in very handy and gives your effect a really really nice touch so take your time with this part and i'm gonna just dodge and burn so this is the dodge part if you want to switch to burn just hold down on the tool click and hold and then you can go to the dodge and boost those highlights so that's the difference between these two and so i want you guys to take your time go in and really retouch your mask well you guys see the effect of dodge and burn hopefully you guys did well on that because it really is a nice part to the design and get you guys really a lot of variance between your shadows and highlights one thing that i think it will be a lot newer to people is adding fake shadows from if you have overlays of hands so i'm going to show you guys quickly how to do that just add an exposure layer Drop the exposure down, add a little bit of gamma just to get a little bit of more boosty. Okay, then you're gonna invert your mask and see where I have these hand shadows. I'm gonna paint white right underneath. Add, add a little bit of separation. 
but you can just go pretty um, pretty pretty symmetrical to what is going on but you want to do it on a little bit of an angle so that there's a little bit more depth so see how I'm adding just like kind of that fake shadow over the top I think this just gives the piece a little bit more oomph okay so then you're gonna go on your layer mask you're gonna feather that and then from there you're just gonna increase your exposure a little bit so it's not too dark all right so it just adds like a little something I like to merge my mask together just to get it ready for a composition or anything like that so take the background off take your OG mask off we can really see the difference here now super cool take the background off then to make a layer from visible you're gonna hold down control alt shift E if you're on the Mac it would be control option shift E and hit that you're just gonna hit those keys all together at once we're just a smart object now and we'll just hide it like Kyrie before after before after big difference guys no plugins used in this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to comment subscribe today man make sure to join the patreon guys just five dollars a month and you guys are able to help support me in this channel you guys get all my project files live stream playbacks texture and asset packs and more so without further ado it's been council scoped be sure to share with a friend like comment subscribe and it's been the arts of athletes stay scoped i'll see you guys in the next video